This weekend, we will be traveling to Intensity Dance in Woodbridge, Virginia. Your replacements will be at the competition along with the rest of their studio. When the moms walked out of my studio, I replaced their kids. That's what you do. Two of those replacements, Kaylee and Bella, are going to be attending the dance competition this weekend. And I'm sure that they want nothing more than to beat my team. Bowie, I know acrobatics is not your forte, but your mom has stood out that desk and told me on several occasions that you have your standing back tack. So that's how the number's gonna start. Oh no, You're gonna Chloe is not tack. doing a standing. Oh yes, she is. No, Abby, I refuse. Yep. No, Abby, she does not have permission to do you that. You just said that she had I it. said that months ago. Right, so she it should be better. Chloe, do you think you're confident enough? Be honest, Chloe. Well, why would you come and tell me your kid can do back tack? Because when she... parents come and tell me things, it's because they want me to work it into the no. number. Chloe, you are not doing it in the routine. You know she is afraid of gymnastics tricks. She is not allowed to do it. You know what? You had Paige do a standing back tuck in that dressing room and she broke no, her foot. I didn't. Yes, you did. I want to see your standing back tuck. Oh, oh can I try it? No, this is cement underneath this carpeting. You said, I want to see that standing back tuck. Chloe, you are not doing it in the routine. But the more we sit here and argue, the more they're not. Practicing. I'm not arguing. I invited a child to do a trick that her mother said she could do. Chloe, you were supposed to do a solo this week. But after the performance your mother just gave, we're going to hold off on that. OK. Ab, can I talk to you for a sec before you leave? Yeah, what? I really would love for Maddie to prove to you that she can win. I know, and, Melissa, you but know... you have to realize that she was just in a duet with Kendall. And even though she was a lot better than Kendall and a lot stronger, she didn't blow me away either. And I know and that. I called you. I know you did. I called you. I didn't call every one of those mothers. You, you know what? My daughter is special. Your kids special on Paige and Brooke. I would have never picked up the phone and called Sophia if Maddie would have been in this building working her butt off. Well, you know, we all make mistakes, Abby. I've been yeah, committed but what to you this did, video. You hurt your own kid. You didn't hurt me. I, I realize that, Abby. No solo this weekend. There is no way, Melissa. You did this to Maddie, not me. Get dressed, man. Get your shoes on. Who's going to have the other solo this week? Well, Melissa just asked me if Maddie could do a solo. After that, do no. that? No. No way. No. Maddie's talking about you. And now she wants a solo. And now she wants a solo. <laughs> it's OK. I just really want to do it. I know. You work hard, Maddie. You don't miss classes. You're a good girl, OK? Put the mats away. Any news on the solos? I think Chloe Anybody? has one. Chloe has a solo? No. Not as far as I know. She Didn't she learn one here today? She, she was supposed to. When you asked her yesterday for a solo, what did Abby say? Oh, she just kept ranting. I gave your daughter all these opportunities. And I'm like, I did a lot for you through these years. She says we're ungrateful. And ungrateful. That's being ungrateful. She's ungrateful. Right. Well, Melissa, I'm glad you stuck with us in the parking lot, because I know that was Me hard too. for you to do. I am, too. And don't regret what she did. A true friend would not be treating you this way, or your children. I know Abby is still angry at me for walking out on her during the silent protest, and now Maddie's suffering from it. I'm really beginning to wonder if I made the right decision walking out with the moms. You were dismissed. I want to talk to you. Chloe looks like she wants Hi. to throw up. Come here, Chloe. I don't think you deserve a solo. Not the way your mother speaks to me in the pyramid. I want what's best for you as my dancer. We could have been finished with your solo. It could be done by now. Let's go. Now, the theme of the dance is haunted. It's scary. It's dark. And the movement is similar to what we just did in the group dance. Understood? Five, six, step across seven. Chloe is doing a lyrical contemporary piece entitled Haunted. Chloe really has to be an actress to pull off this routine. She needs to be a haunted character. The best way to think about that is by thinking of her mother. Really beautiful leg. Get that leg up and wing that foot. And Chloe, it's not OK to make your own thing up and just keep going. That is unacceptable now. That was for a little kid. I will see you tomorrow morning, ready to get on that bus. And I want perfection. When you step out on the stage, we should have goosebumps. All right, ready? Hit play. Let's go. Every time that Chloe has a solo, I'm always trying to be like, oh, you know, it's OK. But I want Chloe to win. I really want her to go out there. And I want her to prove that 
she is a force to be reckoned with. Girls, if we bump into those kids that showed up to replace you, you will be nice, and you will say hello like I have taught you. OK, make me proud. I will. Make yourself proud. OK. okay. The kid that came in that replaced you, you're now up against. Let's go. Head up, confident. All right, you're going to be beautiful, right? Be gorgeous. Hey, ladies. Hey, Abby. Hey, how are you? Hi. Right, girls, this is Bella, and this is Kaylee. Hi. Tell them how old you are. I'm 11. You, when did? No. Were you not 10 at that audition? I just turned 11. Oh, you did? OK. So, Chloe, you're 11? So, all right, well, best of oh, luck, so ladies. Confused. You're very tall. Yeah, I'm confused why they had to ask their moms how old they were. They just had birthdays, I think. Because they compete little... at different age. You know the rules. They compete yeah. different age. And January 1st is the age. I really like was wondering. making fun of our kids. Yeah. No, no, I was just wondering, because we have problems with people all the time saying fake ages. So oh, that's no, no, what no, we were no, wondering. No. We run into these Studio Blue dancers in the hall, and Abby's like, oh, tell them how old you are. And the kids are like, how old am I? Like. How do you not know how old you are? All right, coming to the stage next in the junior solo division, this is entry number 21, Isabella with Over and Over Again. as I thought she was going to be. I think Chloe has a good shot now. All right, up next in the junior solo division, this is entry number 22, Kaylee with There's Always Hope. dancer. She's strong yet graceful. She has lovely lines and she can turn like nobody's business. I'm a little bit nervous before my solo because I don't really like it when Miss Abby gets mad because she gets really loud and kind of scary. All right, coming to the stage next in the junior solo division, this is entry number 20, Chloe with Monte. When Chloe dances from the heart, it's such a difference. And I don't think that she connected with this piece. I think she did really well. I think she hit her turns. But it wasn't quite what I know Chloe can do. What did you think of Chloe's performance? I thought it was good. And I, I was very honest with Chloe. I thought she did it better in the studio. I know Chloe can be great. I've seen her be great. 
We need to get back to being great. I, I realize that, and that's what I said and to I'm her. I'm sorry, Kelly, if this offends you, but Chloe's future can't be at the expense of your two kids. Melissa, you can tell all the other moms about it, right? You know, sometimes people make mistakes, and you've made mistakes, Abby, too. I've made lots of mistakes. Okay, so have I. You are more worried about I... your friendships with all of these women than your own kids, and you know it. My the kids... same thing no. about worrying about a guy instead of your own kids. Yes. My kids keep Going from one husband to another so? instead of just worrying about your kids? Please. We have a happy household. Well, your kid doesn't look very happy to me. Really? Absolutely. I think Sophia Lucio rocked her world. One more thing, all of you kids, you need to listen up. If one person really has the dreams and the passion to do this for a living, yep. nothing Keep should get in their way. Melissa, listen to what I'm saying. I'm hearing nothing you. Nothing should get in their way. And I know. Not your personal life. I not their personal dad's life. personal life. Not some other kid. It has nothing to do with that. Maddie needs to focus. The dance studio is the place that she thinks of as home. I know that. And you ripped her out of there and let her sit in the parking lot for 12 hours. I feel sorry for Maddie. She had a good thing going. Melissa, you're doing your kid an injustice. We're gonna jump now to elite junior soloists. Fourth place is Miss Isabella with act number 21 over and over again. Your first runner up from our elite junior solo division of competition is Miss Chloe with act number 20, Haunted. Just imagine if Chloe looked over the break, if she had her mother being nice and sweet and paying her bills on time, Chloe would have been first. Chloe would be amazing. And last but not least, that top spot in the elite junior solo division of competition is Miss Haley with act number 22, There's Always Hope. Chloe beat Bella, but she didn't beat Kaylee. Not even close.